Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video we studied how we can apply parallel cursor using the new syntax. We have not used the read table statement. We have simply simply used line underscore index to get the index of the matching record and we are looping the inner internal table based upon that particular index. Now I will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So those who do not have idea about how, how parallel cursor is working, so they will also get the idea about the same. So what I will do, I will simply, simply put a breakpoint. Now I will put a breakpoint directly onto this loop statement itself because anyways in the previous videos it is fully explained how the data is coming in all the internal tables. So I'll simply put a loop on this sort statement itself and I'll add the last I will explain why we are going for sorting. Now I will go for some date. I will just take a proper test data so that all scenarios will be covered. Suppose I will go for VBAK table. I will go for the contents. Suppose I will go for 6th November 2023 to 7th November 2023. Now we have for this particular date, we have two sales order number 115116. I will check in VBAP table also. How many matching records? I have chosen intentionally this date and I will explain. Yes, we have 115116. You can see for these two tests, for these two sales order number, we have multiple line items because we want to understand how parallel cursor is working. So I'm going for multiple line items for a particular sales order number. That's why we will so that we can understand in better manner. Now I will go for one more sales order number which do not have any line item. Suppose I will go for one more date. The date is 21st August 2023. For this date, we have sales order number 117 which is in VBAK table but 117 is not in VBAP table. If I will go for 117, you can see 117 is not in VBAP table. In intentionally, I have taken this so that we can cover all the permutation and combination. So I'm going for now three dates, 6th November 2023 to 7th November 2023 and 21st August 2023. So I'll just go for this. Suppose I will put 6th November 2023 to 7th November 2023. Now I will go for this random date. I will go for OK, execute. And whenever I will explain the debugging mode, you will understand fully. I think there's some problem in loading the code. OK, I'll just Activate again. I think there is some problem. It's system internal issue. It's not our issue. I'll go for execute. Yes, it's working fine. Now, if I will go for two internal table, BBAK and BBAP. You can see in VBAK, we have three records. Yes, whatever the date combination, we put three VBELN, 115, 116, 117. Then if I will go for VBAP, you can see we have two records of 115, two records of 116, but 117 is not there. Yes, 115, 116, but 117 is not there. Now we will understand the parallel cursor fully. 
Anyways, we sorted this internal table by VBELN. By default, data is in sort the order of VBELN. So it will go for same to same result. But yes, go for sorting. Anyways, at the last, I will explain why we are going for sorting. Suppose I will simply go for here. Now loop at first internal table into work area. It means from this internal table, this record, this record will go to work area. If I will go for simply F6, now you can see into this work area, we have the VBELN115. Now we are not going for loop. We are firstly, firstly going for table expression and we are getting the index of the, with the help of this, we'll get the index of the matching record. Just see. LWAVBEABELN, it is 115. It will check into this internal table where we have the first matching record of 115. It is at which particular index, first index. Now you can see LV underscore index variable as of now it is zero. Whenever I will do F6, now you can see LV underscore index is one. So it is the index of the first matching record. Yes, it is one. Yes. Now index is not initial. Yes. Now we are looping this internal table based upon index. Now what is LV underscore index one? It means first record from this internal table will go to work area. Now you can see in LWAVBAP, we have first record. You can see. We have the first record from the internal table move to work area. Now, first work area VBELN 115. What is second work area VBELN? It is 115. You can simply see. If both are same, we are not exiting. We are simply, simply putting that data to which internal table LT output. This is what we want in LT output. Yes, we have the data. Anyways, I'm not going for NMAKT. It is already explained in the previous video so many times. Now we will go for second iteration of the inner loop. Now you can see it is moving on to second record. Now second record from the internal table move to work area. Is 115 is equal to 115? Yes, 115 is equal to 115. Now it is putting that data to this LT out. Now we have two records. Now we will simply, simply go for third. Now, whenever third record will come, now you can see third record from the internal table move to work area. Is 115 is equal to 116? No, 115 is not equal to 116. And it is simply exiting. Previously, it was not exiting. Yes. It is going for, it is taking each and every record into consideration. Now you can see how parallel cursor is improving the performance. So it is simply exiting from the inner loop. And you can see we are again on to the outer loop. So how many iterations reduced? Yes. Now we will go for one more iteration. We will get the most more clarity. Now, second record from the internal table move to work area. So second record move to work area. You can see now 116. If I'll go for this internal table, now 116 move to work area. Now it will check into this internal table where we have the first matching record of 116. Where we have the matching record of 116 at which index? 1, 2, 3. So LV underscore index will be 3. See, as of now, if I will go for LV underscore index, it is one. That is a previous matching. Now, if I will go for simply F6, you can see LV underscore index is three. So it is giving the index of the first matching record of 116. Now, LV underscore index is not initial. Now you will get the guaranteed 100% clarity. Those who do not have any idea about parallel cursor. Now we are looping the internal table from which index three index. It means it will directly start from this. If you do not have parallel cursor, system will go for this, system will go for this. 
now unnecessary that is a that uh, those are unnecessary iteration now system will directly start from this now it will simply move the third record to work area now you can see lwa vbel and 116 it is 116 yes now it will simply simply go to else part yes in lt output we have the third record yes 116 now we will move further now it will go to fourth iteration now you can see for fourth iteration yes what is this fourth 116 is equal to 116 yes both are equal so now it will simply simply move that data to this lt output internal table now we have four records now loop will come further anyways if i will go further inner loop will not continue yes because in the inner loop we have only four records and that is done so just think if we have more records also in that case suppose just think in ltbb ap suppose we have 118 so 116 will not be equal to 118 116 of vb ak will not be equal to 118 it will simply exit so just think how it is affecting or how it is improving the performance now we will move on to next now we have third record from this internal table will go to work area what is the third record lwa vba ke vbl is 117 now lv index is 3 that is of previous matching now you can see into this internal table do we have 117 we do not have 117 and you can see now lv underscore index is zero yes because there is no matching record so this variable will be zero if this variable will be zero it means it is initial so this if condition is completely false so this logic will not execute now if i will simply exit now you can see we are getting same to same result but yes this is what your technical supervisor will ac uh, accept from your end yes that whenever you are going for nested loops always always go for parallel cursor now question comes why we sorted this internal table ltvb ap we'll go for simple understand suppose if the data is coming in sorted order for inner internal table no problem it will always always work suppose in this inner internal table we have this kind of data that is not in sorted order just think if you are not applying sorting then what will happen parallel cursor will give the wrong result you will get a wrong output just see how it will happen for this record it will go for this whenever control will come to this iteration whenever control will come to this iteration this one is not equal to 2 so system will simply simply exit ideally it should not exit it should consider this part also and then it should exit from the inner loop i'll just explain again if the data is in sorted order for this inner internal table no problem just think data is not sorted and you are going for parallel cursor what will happen this record will go to work area with the help of this with the help of line underscore index we will get the index of the first matching record this is system will read this record now system will come on to this record this two sales order number is not equal to 1 so system will simply exit ideally it should not exit if you apply the sorting what will be the case this will be the case system will consider this system will consider this then system has to exit that's why we are going for the sorting of this internal table so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we studied each and everything in the debugging mode we took a scenario in which we have multiple line items for a sales order number so that you will get the clarity how parallel cursor is working yes then i took a test case also which is in vb ak but not in vp ap and we fully understood the concept so those who do not have any idea they will also understand how parallel cursor is working then i explained also why we are going for sorting of this 
inner internal table. So what is the summary? If I will say in this whole parallel cursor, the most important thing which you studied based upon new syntax is how we can use line underscore index to get the index of the matching record. In old syntaxes, yes, we are going for read table. Here we are going for line underscore index. So that's it into this particular video. Thank you.